Welcome back, guys and girls, to Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. I just had the strangest thought. We saw the birds in the sky. Jeremy and Wendy had their little uh, sad talk up here about the dead creatures and more. But I was thinking about what the heck are we in this game? We have no feet. We have no hands. Nobody sent us here. Nobody talks to us. For all I know, we could be one of the aliens here surveying the aftermath of our masterpiece. For all I know, I could be Wendy herself, or Jeremy, some old person, some young person, I don't know. But we'll follow the light across the bridge. Well, where does this bridge live? We weren't here before. I mean, we were across the... Whoa, golly! Should we go down? Just leave it. We've got to keep moving. Sean! We can't just leave him. He must be really badly hurt. Jesus, Diana, we've got the kid in the car. We should just keep driving. We can't just drive off and... Look! He's there. He's in the car. Oh, oh, he's hurt. we got to get down there. I said, leave him. We've got to get out of the valley while we can. Oh, my God, he's trying to undo his seatbelt. There we are. He's fine now. Come on, love. Come on. Some dude crashed into the river. These people wanted to save them, but they're like, nah, dude, we got to get out of town. <laughs> we got a baby in the car. And things are looking bad. I just want to make sure there's no radio or whatnot back here at this little stop point. Um, I don't know. I guess you could have taken the roads to get here, whereas we took that backwards path. But there is a radio, so I'm glad that we went back down Yachton Road to the bus stop. Caitlin, talk to me, baby. Phone call from Stephen. He wants to shut down the receiver. Something about instances across the valley. There's intermittent electrostatic discharges radiating out of Tower 6. All of the electrics on the main gate are blown. I'll find time to take a look once the data stream begins to calm down here. <sighs> I still can't figure out what's going on with those people. Tar Nation Nation. That has nothing to do with North Carolina. Um, leaves are falling. It's so strange that everything is still so full of life, like in bloom too. So whatever these aliens are, they don't affect much except humans. Or maybe this is just a, a whole like commentary on how we're addicted to our phones and the aliens within the phones are gonna kill us all if we're not careful. That could be, and I would believe it. All right, um, more dead birds, something up there. But we're gonna get a scene, I guess. Yes, no, West Rail. I swear I heard a baby scream, but maybe it's within the light orb that's now running off. I'm going to head up this way first. Anything over here? A mini power plant of sorts? If you guys are liking these videos, definitely make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, let me know in the comments below um, what you're thinking about the game and if you're liking it. It's very weird. It's totally calm to play unlike anything else I have going on. I feel like I want to play it in the dark constantly, though. Like, sit back. It's like movie theater-esque, I guess. I don't know. Turn off the lights. Grab your popcorn, hug your favorite stuffed animal, and watch everyone go to the rapture via light orbs and me. Waltzing our way down the train track where people were just... That freaking guy got ran over? Or just sucked straight into the sky? I don't even know. it. Maybe he did get run over and they were trying to lift it off him or something. That's freaking freaky. Let's see what's up. Can't turn it anymore. <laughs> there we go. Howard. Howard, what's happened? Stephen, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. See if there's a phone working. No, stay back. Don't come up here. Oh, Christ. Is that... Bloody idiot. <laughs> Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. We are a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic, Howard. Did you say there's a working phone in the junction box? Oh boy, someone was getting squashed, and it sounds like Stephen doesn't want to use the phone. Stephen, Stephen, are you good or are you bad, Steven. It's interesting that there's some, whoa, so much uh, undulation in this world. I love it. I love that there's verticality. 
in the environment and whatnot. It's just, you know, it could have just been a boring, flat landscape for us to explore. What does this sign say? Junction box out of commission until further notice. We'll have to head back down to ground level to see what the light's doing, but I figured we'd come up here first. There's probably a scene in here of some sort, I imagine. I lost my shoes. I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. They've taken my shoes, sir. Howard? Howard Lansom! You open the door this and so Oh, it's Howard! I lost my shoes. Now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said he couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy. He'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm gonna find my son. Then I'm gonna ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. Howard is the guy that freaked out on Jeremy and pushed him down the stairs when he's like, they're in my head or whatever. He's talking about like, he lost his shoes, Stephen took his shoes, did Stephen really take his shoes, did nobody take his shoes, what's going on with the shoes? At the train station, Wendy's going to try to make things right, I don't think that's going to be uh, in the cards tonight, but she'll definitely give it her best effort knowing her. Clever geometry placement to prevent us from going down a path that we don't need to go down. Right, right, right. And the music gets a little bit weirder as we wind our way the ground level and the light is freaking out over there um it's now flying along the the road hello light you're gonna meet me here should i follow you further where are you gonna take me this time head down yacht road that way i'm gonna head over here See what's going on in this uh, inner woodland area. Maybe we'll find Bambi. It's getting all sorts of mystical and peaceful. The chants of angels ring off in the distance. I'm now s not able to swim. We ain't no Jesus. We can't walk on water. Getting wet is not an option. So we won't even bother. Um, that makes me think I'm even more likely to be an alien who can't handle water. I'm a phone demon. Let's waltz around this pathway, though. See if there's anything of interest back here. More blue flowers. Oh, a radio. Whoa, and also one of these. Maybe not a radio, it's just one of these things. Who's this creepy man? Is everything all right, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just... Robert. <laughs> that man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a miser and old busybody, but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking. We both know that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? I suppose it is. I have to accept it. I know, but she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the color of her skin. Don't look at me like that. What they do up there, it's not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. I don't like her. And I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you. Oh boy, so Stephen used to be married or date Lizzie, who's now with Robert. And uh, Wendy was like looking at old photos or something. Stephen got with Kate. Kate has a different ethnicity, apparently. And messes with things that people shouldn't. So she's doing some sort of science work, which we knew. But I thought Stephen seemed to be at the helm of that, as the windmill still turns off in the distance. Um, it seemed like Stephen was at the helm of these projects, but perhaps it's Kate who's nudged him in a specific direction. So now it makes me question her quality as a, as a character. 
Or maybe are we meant to question Wendy's quality. I don't even know. But it looks like we can push off in this direction a little bit. A bench. A you are here sign. As we move north through the Tipworth Forest up to uh, Miastin's Pond. And we're moving towards the Grange and Appleton's Farm eventually. Blue flowers. A little hut. These must be... I thought they were bathrooms based on their arrangement in terms of the way the door was. Like an in and out. But I guess not. We'll have to move on. And see if we can uncover some more clues. Back in civilization. Think this gate will open. Wendy. Lizzie. Kate. Jeremy. Stephen. I don't like the man he's become around her. I wish he was more of what he used to be. Simple, carefree, excited. Now all he does is sit up in that observatory looking for things he shouldn't find. Answers. Which we don't deserve to know. Oh, Lizzie. Why did you have to let him go? He was a better man. With you. With you indeed. Everything's locked. I'm stuck in here. Disrupting my emotional, uh, <laughs> monologue. Um, hey, it's a fence on one side and no fence on another. Won't ever understand yards like that, but it's all right. Who needs gates on both sides? The whole world looks like it got all weird and saturated. I feel like I'm in some spooky fallout land all of a sudden. SVH, press the buttons. Weird roads leading to nowhere, I guess. It's just a place to park your car. All these little, what are these, bee huts? Bird houses? A radio. There's something in the observatory with me. Whoa. I can feel it reaching out to me. Whoa. When it's close, I'm overcome with the most profound sense of loneliness. Weird. It's making her feel lonely, even though you'd think when it was close it would make her feel friendly, but this must be a bad thing, boys and girls. Not a friendly sight did that Kate see. The front door, though, is open to me, and so is the upstairs, but we'll peruse the ground first. Piano music, the morning tree, that's a sad song it sounds like. Any sights in here? No, locked closet. Shropshire magazine. Up the stairs we go, traveling by feet and toe. What is in store for us? Wendy? I don't Wendy, even know. wake up. Eddie, is that you? No, it's me. It's Frank. Oh, Frank. Oh, the door was open. I didn't think Graham would mind. I'm sure he won't. What are you doing here? Looking for Stephen, but I just ran out of steam. And the door was open. Have you listened to the radio? I thought I heard him on the radio before. Over the valley. Don't you get that? This isn't some abstract thing. Whatever came down into the tower has got out. They've quarantined the whole valley. It's right here in the observatory. It's out in the world. It's adapting and spreading. Do you understand? No, we can't turn it away. What's he talking about? I don't know, But if he's on the radio, we can try and reach him on the CB. You go to Stephen's house. And if I get hold of him, I'll tell him to come and find you. Mm -hmm. It's gotten out of the observatory. It's spreading. It's spreading. Now, Kate, now I'm all like twisted and turned backwards because Kate seems to think like we have to let it be. It's a good thing. Let it go. Let it exist. And you've got Steven over there trying to stop it or trying to warn people. Kate's kind of just like. It is what it is. It's got to be what it's got to be. Can I click that radio? No, I guess not. Okay. We are the first radio we cannot touch and bring to life. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you winding me? Further down the road? Into the house? What the heck? Back here? What? No? Okay. Where's it going? 
Does it even know? It's got a mind of its own. Aha. That's where we came from, I guess. A workout garage. And this thing cannot literally decide where it wants to be. But it kind of put us over in this direction, so maybe we should investigate. Another radio! Rachel, darling, I'm sorry about taping over your music, but we, that is your dad and I, in case you come home, I mean, I know Mrs. Graves is looking after you over there, but just in case you come home, we wanted to let you know we're going to head over to Bob's. Evie! Evie! Sam, I'm leaving a message for Rachel. Are you going to say hello? Jesus Christ, Evie, we ain't got time for this. The bloody car won't start. We're going to have to walk. Sam, shush. It's for Rachel in case she comes back here. But Charlie says everyone's getting together at the hall. Rachel's at the camp. She'll be fine. Rachel, darling, anyway, listen, as I was saying, we're going to be at the village hall. We'll wait there for you. I think it's best if you just stay put and mind what Mrs. Graves tells you. We love you, darling. Bye. That's you finished? Freaky. Right, grab that bloody case and let's get moving. Come on. They're on their way rushing out of there in case Rachel comes home from Mrs. Graves. I'm guessing nobody made it home from anywhere. Not from Mrs. Graves, not from the town hall, not from the camp. Charlie, Rachel, Evie, Sam... Poof. Gone. Maybe even forgotten. Because there's no one to remember them left. There's nobody anywhere. This game is so weird. And I love that the puzzle here is all jagged and, and mixed up. And the corners aren't easy to identify. I don't even know where to begin putting together a theory of what went down. Except some of the basics that we've been... We've had outlined for us. Otherwise it's a complete... Just a complete mess. But I think I like that. Wait, 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 this is where I was previously. We came out here onto the road. We saw that house in the distance. Yes, indeed. All right, so we'll make our way where we want to go. Take a trail down to the hole. Yachting hole at the end of the road. Everybody's going to the rapture, Sam. Everybody's going to the rapture, Wendy. Can't quite place who's left, if Kate's even really there. And is she evil or what? I don't even know. I just want to know. I just want to know. Did they get sucked away by the phone demons? Or is that just all for show? I just want to know. I just want to know. Whoa. Come on, you stupid bastard. Damn bloody thing! Jesus! Come on, not now! Jesus, come on, you bastard! Start! Start, you bastard! Come on! Gah. Well, Stephen ain't having much luck with that car. And as I was saying, I just want to know... I just want to know, was it Kate or was it Steven that really unleashed the flow? Meek Millie. Weak Mills. Steven? Steve? Wendy? Did you just have one word to say, Wender? That was so weird. This is Steven's house? She's looking for Steven in here. He's got books of plenty, books galore, lamps everywhere, glasses. Almost on the floor. If they roll a little more, Stephen, every word rhymes. What is up with it's that? It's your mother. Answer me. Oh. Steve. Oh. Stephen! What have you done, Stephen? He's like no. freaking out. Kate. One. One. The numbers. There must be a logic. to me. Weird. It's alive. It's the only explanation. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive, it's alive. What's alive? Who's alive? Who did it? Who done it? What's going on, really? Please let us know before I get too chilly. <sighs> Steven's house. Kind of a mat. Whoa. 
Somebody spilled wine all over the floor. Sweet berry wine, not good. Kind of like maze running or whoa. Where is Kate? Are you here? I don't think she found Steven. Whoa, there's like things everywhere. Can I mess with this one? No. I guess I'll mess with this one. A ball of fate. Tell us more about Kate. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be the end of Wendy's segment, then. Ooh. Steven? I can hear the planes. It's the government coming to rescue us. Oh, God. You can come out now. It's all gonna be all right. I can hear the jets coming. It's like when Eddie came home. It's like your dad coming home again. Oh, wow. I'm here. I'm down here. This way. So either they bombed the heck out of the place and blew Wendy up, or they didn't save her and she eventually got just swallowed by the phone creatures. Streaks across the sky. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Freaking galaxies. And the light below. This reminds me of like flower or something. Just epically gorgeous. Got chills. The moment is ripe and real. As we travel through more lit segments of lushness. Waltzing our way closer to understanding, I hope. I'm not even sure anymore. I don't even know. I kind of like that we're on this bumblesome journey, fumbling our way through the few clues we have. No one seems to... I guess, like, that's just, like, the whole M.O. of this game is, like, nobody knew. Like, if something like this went down, people would be clueless. They'd be confused and crazily scared and uncertain of what and theorizing themselves and trying to downplay it and convince everyone it's okay because it's something that doesn't make sense to the logical human brain but clearly has real-world effects even if it is from a different realm all entirely. Looks like Wendy's chapter has come to an end. I wonder if we'll have Kate, Steven, I don't know, Samron, somebody next. Am I going the right way? I think this is where we want to head. Down by the bay. Where the mystery continues to grow. I left dear Wendy up on the hill. As we travel to and fro, across the land we waltz, walking step by step. When will we know? Ooh, the light, the light, give us a little more depth. Frank! Helper of Wendy or son of Wendy? I don't even know. Brother of Steven or just dude? As the light returns to the world, got singing and ceremony. The light touches the board, and we are all the way up in Appleton's farm. Welcome to Appleton, home of the apples. And there's a bunch of signs everywhere showing that this demon... Invasion is really coming full circle. I think we're going to pause here since we are at a chapter break. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you want more of this crazy adventure. Until that time, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Drink so much chocolate. I love you all. Stay away from the phones. And we'll see you all later.